What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Elude Stalwart Does Does Something. Today we're talking about uh basically what I've been doing lately and uh, what I got plans for for uh, the channel in the future. And basically, like, I want to try to connect with you guys and let you guys know more of like some candid information about me. Like, I got thousands of videos on YouTube and I stream a lot on Twitch, but. I don't I don't think a lot of you guys know very much about me or what I'm up to or uh even like what the goal of the channel is or anything like that. So for those of you curious about that stuff, this is what this video is for. Uh it's basically to inform you guys uh what I got planned and what you can expect if you've been tuning in lately and you want to keep coming back and seeing what's going on. Uh this is about what you could expect. Uh you see me playing Final Fantasy every day. Uh that's basically uh, what I'm doing lately is uh just trying to get max level on all the melee classes in final fantasy to obtain the soul of war achievement there's a title and then there's also the achievement progress chain that you get and if you get the magic the disciples of magic also like much later on i i could also go for the soul of war and soul of magic title together and uh that that rewards a mount i think it's the amaro it's like the amaro bird mount it's like a it's like a camel and a crow mixed together it's a pretty cool looking mount if uh if you've done the main story quest up in the level 70 to 80 range you probably saw the amaro birds it's one of those yeah I, I, at least i think that's that's what the name implies at least and i've seen a black amaro bird mount that people fly around on so i imagine it's that one which just means that that person's leveled every Disciple of War and every Disciple of Magic class up to level 80, which is actually uh, quite an achievement. It's quite a time investment I'm finding as well. I'm sure there are more efficient ways to level, but I've been just kind of exploring the game to see what I've been kind of like attracted to or interested in just casually at my own pace. And uh I've dipped my toe into a bunch of different game modes as well as like uh, the way I've been describing to people is uh, if you want to play Final Fantasy, main story unlocks the game. And then uh, as you're unlocking the game, doing the main story, like take a break every once in a while from both like, you know, just reading the narrative and just like, you know, passively watching what's going on in the world to like actually play in the game. So like main story to unlock the game and then remember to play the game as well as you're unlocking the game so i think of uh playing the game uh as like when i've leveled uh, my professions i started doing alchemy and botany uh so i did that and i wasn't sure what profession i wanted to go for initially so i kind of grabbed all of them like uh the lumber uh the miner and like all these other professions but then i, I decided i wanted to go alchemy because i like using potions i use potions all the time if I can, I'd use them on cooldown, but then also like the Alchemists later, I don't know if they get to, but their orchestration scrolls that are faded, I think you need an Alchemist in order to make those actual orchestration scrolls instead of just having the faded ones. So uh, that's something I'm exploring, but then also like I'm, I'm doing Fates and uh, grinding Levs in between the Fates on my Paladin. And then I got a Dark Knight sitting around level 30 I've done Random Duty Finder with. And uh, I've got the Dancer. I've actually done Palace of the Dead on the Dancer a little bit. I think it was Palace of the Dead on the Dancer. But I've done Palace of the Dead either on the Dancer or the Machinist or, or both of them. So yeah, I'm trying all these different game modes. And depending on what level range somebody's in and what, what they have access to, like what type of content they can get into. Like I'm excited to get my Dancer and my Gunbreaker up to level 70. I want to get those up to level 70 because then those guys have access to the trust system. The trust system is pretty cool. Doing the main story quest on the Machinist, I found uh, you could e either do the random do uh, duty roulette finder for these uh, quests where you slay the light wardens or something like that. And uh, you also have the option of just doing a trust where you just have the main story characters that are part of that narrative right there. Just standing there that you can like select your party, build your own party of you know however many is it is a tank dps or a tank two dps and a healer so parties of four so you can build your own trust your own party of four and then just run that dungeon with to slay the light warden just with your own trust so that's just pretty cool and that's from level 70 to 80 
So uh, before that, in the level 60 to 70 range, my dancer, he has access to a lot of the old raids that I never did in, in the previous expansion. So I've been kind of just doing raids and getting XP from doing raids with him. Or maybe I'm not even getting XP, but I'm I'm getting those turned in while he's of level for that stuff at least. But uh, yeah, I mean, and, and that's cool too to have like a level appropriate guy to explore that content with. But um, on the on the life side, like that's Final Fantasy news. Like if you care about the the behind the scenes of loot Star Wars stuff, like basically what I've been up to, what I've been working on, I'll bring you over to uh, this other screen here. This is what I'm currently working on. Uh, I'm doing this while I'm actually filming, so I don't know how bad it's gonna be whenever I show you. All right, this guy's is my ethereum mining project here i don't know if i'm doxing myself am i doxing myself i don't think there's anything here that y'all can get this is actually the public ledger anyways so yeah let's let me let me shut the camera off on the other one so i can come over to this screen all right here we go coming back there we go so this is my T-Rex mining machine. <laughs> so I had this running all night last night. We're going on 11 hours right now of uptime. And uh, I just, I actually had this running a bit yesterday too. So when I'm not streaming, I try to have this thing running. And if this thing's not running, I usually have my computer shut down. But um, what this is, is this is uh, my uh, T-Rex uh, E-T hash mining machine so um this is actually the ledger of the blockchain of every transaction that's going on in the ethereum network and ethereum is a cryptocurrency it's uh basically uh just like you have bitcoin and you have like all these other dogecoin and and these cryptocurrencies ethereum's one that's actually energy efficient and uh what's cool about that is is what i imagine too like whenever i think about this is you could have like a solar a solar panel like say you're elon musk you got the solar panel tile roof and then you got the 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 power wall so you got the battery banks in your garage that's storing energy excess that you're not using from just charging your solar array or whatever from your rooftop and you could have multiple too, like these these power walls. Here, look, I can just show you what I'm talking about. Uh, solar panel roof. Uh, Elon Musk, I don't know what his version is. The solar roof. So you can have the solar roof, Tesla power wall. You could have a Tesla power wall like this is just tesla because this is what comes to mind this is where i've heard about this technology so those are those shingles there is actually a roof tile and they're also solar panels so they collect the sun's energy and then they store them in a battery bank called the power wall and uh they have outage protection so like these things are supposed to store enough wattage to where if you have and they're showing everything here if you have like you know cloudy days or something like that then it's supposed to be able to supply enough power for your whole house or but regardless like what you do is you take this solar roof here that generates electricity stored in this battery and you hook up just a bunch of like a server rack full of graphics cards and and these programs running on different machines and you can have very many of of, of these graphics cards running in tandem generating ethereum and at 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 not a loss of of energy so like whenever bitcoins be in mind or most cryptocurrencies uh like that there's always like a coal factory somewhere burning fossil fuels or uh some kind of like a non-renewable resource that's 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 uh being consumed in the process so like where where you could be having like an electrical car or whatever and thinking you're saving the environment or whatever like if what you're charging that electrical car with is a like fossil fuel burning you know facility or 
even like you know uh an inefficient power source then like you're you're doing it at a loss you're it's costing you more electricity to burn to generate that coin that cryptocurrency than than ethereum ethereum is the most energy efficient one this is what i heard it's the most inter like if i take my electric bill and i pour uh my electric bill into mining like this like if i just leave this computer on running uh it will not cost me electricity to do that it will pay me uh it will pay me money to do that like i will be getting paid enough money to pay my electric bill with that money like i'll get that electricity converted to money and then uh, like like i'm i'm bu i'm basically buying back my electricity cuz you pay for electricity and then i'm buying that electricity back doing this and it's not much like uh if i show you my my dashboard here <laughs> it's funny because this morning that's at $34 and i can actually sit here and watch it update every 60 seconds and see that little ticker move like i actually physically see that unpaid balance go I have this tied to my my wallet right now, my MetaMask wallet, and this is just a wallet I could open up, and I could send and receive cryptocurrency. I've been sending and receiving it to my Coinbase account, and this is just money that I've either invested in myself, like to buy the Ethereum, or and initially I did it as a test. I did put money in here. I received it from my Coinbase account to see, like, kind of to diversify my portfolio. <laughs> of crypto coin <laughs> and this is all stuff that i've been deep into lately this is why you see me go dark like this is the elude aspect of the elude stalwart channel it's stalwart because this shit's going to the stream like like the information i'm learning here and you can hear me like kind of clumsily explaining and probably like uh don't take everything that i'm saying for gospel because i'm still learning this shit and this is also why i'm not just talking about this all the time is because i'm still learning this shit so uh i'm just seeing what it does and i made about 36 dollars casually running this machine and i leave it on while i sleep and uh i'm doing it right now while i'm streaming and that's going to make this little number go down because what what it's doing is it's churning out code like it's constantly encrypting uh i think it's i, I think every four hours the entire network has completely different crypto like so the the security aspect of it is every four hours there's no password to access information that's the same it's all been encrypted in a completely different code so the code's fluid like there's never one one password that somebody can hack and and not only that like for just one computer that makes that computer safe but if somebody does get in that computer if like they got a super computer or something like that and they can hack into that um first of all why is someone with a supercomputer worried about your 35 dollars? <laughs> but regardless uh this ledger here right here is uh the same ledger that everybody else that's doing any transaction on this network sees so we all have the same ledger and we exchange that ledger uh updated information uh constantly like all the time every time you see a tick here that's a transaction that someone's made on the network so like not only is it encrypted but it's a it's it's like an open book like anybody can see what anybody's buying and you don't see like the product or the service that they're buying but you get a time and a date that that transaction took place so like that's transparency and that's that's transparency between people doing transactions but that's also transparency for anybody on that network like i i think this is like something like minority put reporting the long view tinfoil hat <laughs> i think you get like minority report level of detail but also like uh it's just accountability like that's that's what's cool is like you know what what's happening with the money there's like no way to it's like they have non-fungible tokens like there's no way to make a fungible transaction here like there's not a way to 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 like deep fake it or whatever but yeah, this is uh, it's, I've been running it Sunday. I was running it, and the hash rate just means how many hashes, how many of these transactions I'm encrypting a second. So I'm doing uh, at my peak here, it was thirty nine point three mega hashes per second, and that was like Sunday. That was August twenty. That was midnight. Like nobody's on the internet. Nobody's like 
So my computer is just getting all the resources, all the electricity, stable electricity. It's getting stable internet connection. And not only that, like it's, it's neighbors are, so it's getting more effective, you know, encryption. And so like, I, I, I don't know. Also like, uh, speaking candidly, this is a long video, probably 15 minutes is kind of long, but, um, I have a military background and I was in encryption and networking and like comms and stuff like that. So I kind of like a lot of this stuff is kind of intuitive to me. Like I kind of understand it cause I've seen some stuff like this before, but, um, this hash right here, this, this kind of like average line, that's, that's the one I'm trying to keep stable. It snakes because, uh, I had turned off the computer at certain times. Also like when I'm streaming, I don't want to be running this and nuking cause this is all my graphics card. This is only the, the, I got a, the, what the GTX, it tells you right here. The Zotac NVIDIA RTX 2060. This is what a 2060 can get you. And to buy this graphics card is not very expensive. You can get this graphics card for not very much. Let's see. And it, it could just make money for you. Well, it's 755 it's about $800. So how long would that take you to buy that graphics card? If I make $2 a day, if I'm running this consistently and the network stays stable and my, my power, I don't cut off the computer or anything like that, then I make about $2 a day. So for $800, how many days would it take to buy that graphics card? So the, it would be like investing in that graphics card. And you see my, my graphics card is sweating right now because we're using it hard. So 800 divided by two. It would take you 400 days. It would take you one year, but you could buy that graphics card just with the power that that graphics card can make money with just the speed that that graphics card can make money. Now, if you get a boosted up one, you get a better one, you can start to see exponential gains if you start to chain them together. And there are dudes that, that go off and they do stuff like that. So I, I took a long tangent just to say, you get a solar array, right? You hook that shit up to a battery bank and then you have multiple of these rigs with multiple graphics cards all churning out 35 mega hashes a second that's two dollars per graphics card you're running and that's all that's all free it's like you're you're photosynthesizing the sun's energy into ethereum <laughs> or or whatever cryptocurrency you want it doesn't have to be ethereum it's just the most energy efficient one if you do it with bitcoin like it could be valuable to do that but you're going to do it at a inefficient, like it'll be inefficient. Like that's what this E here is for efficiency. So my efficiency, whenever I'm not streaming and opening 20 million tabs and all this shit like that, it goes up to, I don't know what it goes up to. Actually, I was recording a log. I'm going to leave you with this. And, and if you guys are interested in this stuff and anything that I was just saying in this video, just leave a comment, tell me what parts interested you the most, and I'll talk more about that shit. But this is the efficiency. That from whenever I first started, I started recording. That's something else the military teaches me is like, record your information. Oh, <laughs> and what's cool too is like when I was playing TBC, like that's no sweat for my graphics card. So I could play the TBC and make money at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this is what i was getting uh 20 20 almost 28 mega hashes a second playing tbc on the side <laughs> but shout out to pink rose got pink rose right there but uh yeah i got all these tabs open i was listening to to podcasts i listen to podcasts play tbc make money just create m photosynthesize money <laughs> that's the idea though like i want to get one of them solar arrays but this is the efficiency i was getting 31 uh, mega hashes a second on this day with almost 400 kilo hashes per watt so kilo hashes per watt a second right kilo hashes per watt yeah 395 kilo hashes per watt 399 on that day so i get i get pretty good and the more mega hashes that's the more dollars you're generating per second so yeah, that's, those are, those are logs from, uh, when I've been doing this, every time I've turned it on and uh, I look up guides on how to do it. I'll get into that more though. If y'all guys want to see that, uh, I'm, I feel this computer heating up right now and this is a long video, but 
Um, yeah, I'm a lewd stalwart. Uh, I'm I'm a crypto miner, and I live stream Final Fantasy. Uh, if you guys are interested, hope to see you around. Peace, 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 peace.